Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Luke Beller with the Sideline Scoop. So in today's video, I'm basically gonna be breaking down Drew Locke and sort of looking at him and how I think he'll do in the 2020 season and really what he can do for this Broncos offense, for this Broncos team in general, and try to answer the question if, if the team will be good enough to basically just make the playoffs in the 2020 season. What's going on everybody? If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Luke Beller. On this channel, I talk about the NFL, fantasy football, those kinds of things. So if you wanna see some more of that kind of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. But today, I basically wanted to break down Drew Locke, a guy who came onto the scene at the end of last season in December, sort of came out of nowhere and, uh, you know, just did pretty good for this Broncos offense. And so now coming to 2020, I think there's sort of a lot of hype behind him and um, people sort of really love him and really love what his potential is in 2020. So in this video, I just wanted to break down basically how he performed last season, sort of some of the additions the Broncos made uh, during this offseason and basically just go over how I think he can do in the 2020 season. So when we take a look at Drew Locke, sort of how he came to be on this Broncos team, he was drafted in 2019 in the second uh, second round, 42nd overall. Um, the Broncos came in and decided to draft him. And um, coming into last season, he wasn't like, it wasn't the kind of thing where he was expected to start. So he was able to sort of uh, come in, you know, relax a little bit, not have all the pressure on him. Uh, but at the beginning of the preseason last year, I don't know if you guys remember, but he, he like hurt, he sprained something. Sprained something that put him on the IR until December. And so, um, you know, he was injured until that time. But it was until he came into December, the Broncos hadn't really been doing too well at all. And uh, Drew Locke came in and he went four and one in the final five games for the Broncos in 2020. And if we take a look at his stats in those five games, he passed for 1,020 yards, seven touchdowns, three interceptions with a 64.1% completion percentage and an 89.7 QBR. So as a guy to come in here as a rookie in his first five games, he did insanely well, much better than Joe Flacco and the other guy who was starting for a little while. So he comes in, you know, sort of brings the, the Broncos up and really just does really well. And so now because of that, him coming in and being four and one in those games, I think that there's lots to love about him. And when you look at those stats, you know, he, he, uh, he was pretty good in those games. And so I think there's a reason to believe that he will be great coming in the future. I, I sort of like him a lot. I like the, the way he carries himself. He's a really confident guy, even though he's a rookie. And it seems a lot of his teammates agree with that. And um, so I really think that that is a benefit for him as well. And when we take a look at basically the difference between the um, basically sack percentage before Drew Lock came in and then when Drew Lock came in, it sort of shows his ability to sort of escape around the pocket, move around, and to just sort of make some plays with his feet. Because when you take a look at the offensive line, in 2019 overall, the Broncos allowed 41 sacks, which was ranked 25th, so not good at all. Pretty pretty terrible in the bottom, uh, the bottom what, six or seven teams with an 8.1% sack rate. But the thing is though, you sort of have to take a look at who the quarterback was when they were playing and basically how many sacks um, occurred when they were playing. So Joe Flacco was sacked 26 times in eight games. That's a lot, of, that's a lot. Just a crazy amount. Um, so that was what almost like three per game, something like that, two point something, two, two point something per game or something. And the other quarterback, Brandon Allen, was sacked nine times in three games with about three per game. But then when Drew Locke came in, he was only sacked five times in the five games he was playing. So only about one sack per game. So that sort of just shows his ability to move around the pocket. Those other guys before him were just standing in there, just getting sacked all the time. But Drew Locke obviously can move his feet around, get around, sort of like Aaron Rodgers, you know, I'm a Packers fan. So Aaron Rodgers, he's a guy who can, you know, just move around like crazy, make plays with his feet. I'm not comparing Drew Locke to Aaron Rodgers, but maybe, maybe there's potential for him, who knows? But um, when we take a look at like other offenses and their offensive lines and how many sacks they allow, the league leading best was the Rams with only 1.37 sacks per game. So Drew Locke was better than any other team when it came to sacks allowed I'm um, in this season. And even the Chiefs had a 1.56 sacks per game. So I think that that gives Drew Locke a, um, you know, I just think he's very good when it comes to escaping and making plays with his feet. And I think that that will continue with him in the upcoming seasons. And I think that even if he, you know, gets more sacked than he was um, in 2019, he still should be in the top 10, top five when it comes to that statistics. So he's a guy who can really just move the ball around, you know, extend plays with his feet, which is very important. And so when we take a look basically at uh, what John Elway basically had to say about Drew Locke, let me get this quote up right here. John always says, he's a young guy that finished strong. We liked what we saw in him, liked how he handled things. He went into a situation that wasn't really a great situation and handled it very, very well. We think he's talented and think he can do it for a long time. Drew is our plan. He gave us the feeling that he may be the guy who can compete here for a long time. So I think the Broncos believe that Drew Locke, they found their quarterback for the future, the guy for maybe the next five or so years, five or 10 years, a guy that they think can really carry their team in the future. 
And so they sort of showed their belief in him when they went out in this uh, this uh, 2020 NFL draft, drafting Jerry Judy in the first round wide receiver and in the second round wide receiver, KJ Hamler. So they basically came and gave Drew Locke tons of weapons in this off season. They also came in and added Melvin Gordon, even though they had Philip Lindsay, who I believe had back-to-back 1,000-yard rushing seasons. So they bring in another great running back, and they already have Noah Fant, Fawn, I don't know how to say his name exactly, who was a 2019 first-round pick last season, who lots of people love and expect to break out this season. And they already have an all-pro, or a, what's his name, Pro Bowl receiver in Cortland Sutton. So this Broncos offense is stacked with talent, with some young talent who can make plays, who have great playmaking ability. And so I really think that Drew Locke is sort of set. He has a lot more weapons this off season, or this upcoming season more than he did in 2019. And I really think that Drew Locke is going to be even better in the 2020 season. And I think there's just really lots, there's just lots to love about him overall. And also they brought in a new offensive coordinator who has more experience than Pat Shermer. They fired the other guy, his name is Rich Scangarello. It's a crazy name there. They fired him after one season. So they have a new offense coming into this year and so the guy has more experience and so hopefully that can elevate Drew Locke and elevate the entire offense just in general. And so when we take a look at like, can this Broncos team compete and really make it to the playoffs? And I would say definitely, it's a very high likelihood I think that they do make the playoffs. Uh, I just think that with the talent of Drew Locke, with the talent of the receiving core, and when you take a look at their defense, last season they were top 10 in points allowed and uh, 12th in yards allowed and they had the best red zone defense in the NFL last year. And it's going to be their second year coming into this defensive scheme. So they already have a year under their belt. So I expect them to improve in that aspect. So overall, I think this Denver Broncos team is a team to look out for. I think they can make it to the playoffs and do very well. I guess the only knock on Drew Locke would be the fact that, um, you know, they do have a new offense coming in here. They have lots of new players. And because of this offseason, not really having to, getting to be on the field together all the time and learning that way, maybe that could set them back a little bit and might be a little harder to move forward than it would have been if they had all the offseason workouts and all those kinds of things. That's just sort of one thing to sort of keep in mind for the Broncos and Drew Locke. Um, but overall, I love Drew Locke. I think he's a great player. I think he's going to continue to be good in the future. He's a fun guy to watch, and I really think he will help this Broncos team in 2020. So that is going to be all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more NFL content in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.